We'll guide you through how to make a Minecraft NeoForge server. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. With a NeoForge server, that, that means you can go and play NeoForge mods with other people. We'll guide you through the steps. So what we can do is go and close out of Minecraft like so, and we then need to go and open up a web browser. I'll go and open up Chrome. What you want to do is go and type in NeoForge like so, and come to neoforge.net. What you can do is go and choose the version to the left here, I'll get it for the most recent one, and then we can press click here to download the installer. You may want to go and change the version if you need a specific mod or want a specific mod. Now that we've got NeoForge, we're going to go and get some mods. So what we can do is go and press search, and we want to go and head to a site where we can get mods from, one of them being Curse Forge, just Mod Rinth and others out there as well. You may already have some mods anyway. But come here, and what we can do is go and select Minecraft and press browse all. Come down on the left and we can select NeoForge. And for the game version, we can go and select 1.21.7. You can go and get it for different versions, of course, but we'll then need to have the server running for that different version. Now, what we can do is go and decide what we want here. In this case, I'm just going to get Waystones. Of course, you can get multiple as well. Press files at the top here. And what super keys we get it for NeoForge. And for the same version, we're going to get the server in, which is 1.21.7. Press the three dots to the right and press download file. And then wait for this to download. With this mod, it also requires Balm. So we'll need to go and get that there. We can click on it. We can press files at the top and we can then go and find it for NeoForge and make sure we get it for the same game version. Press the three dots to the right and press download file. Now wait for this to download and of course we can keep getting mods. Just make sure they're all for the same version and for NeoForge. Go and open up your file explorer and head to your downloads. Here we are and you want to go and find NeoForge. Go and double click on it and it should go and open up like this. Now, if you find that it doesn't, this means we need to go and get Java. So what you want to do is come back to a web browser and you want to go and head to java.com. Here you can then press download Java for desktops and press download again. Then it's going to go and download onto your computer. What you need to do is go and install it. With this guide, you are going to be hosting the server on your computer. This means your computer will need to be running the server for the server to be online for people to go and join it. People need to know your IP address to go and connect to it via port forwarding, which isn't always ideal. So a great alternative is to sponsor today's video, Apex Hosting. At the moment, you can go and get yourself a discount. If you're interested, you can check them out down below. They've got so many great benefits like 24 seven servers and support, meaning your server will be online if your computer's off and there's a 24 seven live chat as well. Ultra latency, instant setup and much more. And you can go and make a NeoForge server here. If you press get started, you can then go and choose your plan here. When you're checking out, you can go and change the server version and you can do this when you purchase server as well and go and change the different versions. If we go and type in NeoForge here, you could see we could then go make a NeoForge server. After you've gone and installed it, then you can come and return to NeoForge, right click on it, hover over open with and press choose another app. Select Java and press always and it will then go and run like so. To get started, we need to install it on the client side. So select install client and press proceed. Then it's going to go and download. Go and be patient while it goes and does this. We're currently installing it for our version of Minecraft. And then next, we're going to install it for the server. But what we're going to do is make sure that it's correctly set up on our computer before the server. Press OK there. And then what you need to do is go and open up the Minecraft launcher. Go to the top and press installations. Now you need to go and scroll down and go and find NeoForge. Here it is. Hover over it and press the open installations folder button to the right. In here, go and scroll down and you can go and find the mods folder just here. Come into it. Make sure nothing else is in there that could go and be incompatible. Then you want to come to your downloads. Select the mods you went and downloaded, right click, and we're going to go and copy them and then go and paste them into the mods folder here like so, and that's it. Now what we can do is go and close out of this and we've now gone to set it up for our client side version of Minecraft. Hover over NeoForge and press play to the right. Understand that it's a modified version. Here we are, it's now playing, you can check the mods there. Now let's go and set this up with the server. Before we get any further, we need to come back to Java a minute and you want to come to the main Java page, press developer downloads. And what you need to do is go and get JDK 21. Select that there and we can select windows and go and get the x64 installer, click here or download. Wait for it to download and go and install it like any other application. Then what you want to do is go and run the installer again for NeoForge, double click it. What you want to do is go and press install server. Press the three dots to the right here and you want to press desktop. And what we can do is press the new folder icon in the top right here and name this Neo Forge server. Of course, you can name it something different if you want. We can then go and select it and go and press proceed. Now go and wait for it to download what it's going to need. It's now successfully downloaded it. What we want to do is go and press OK and we can come out of our file explorer and here it is. So what you need to do is go and double click on it like so. Here we are. Then what you need to do is go and find run.bat and you need to go and double click this. 
Then this command prompt is going to go and open up and it's going to go and run through. We can then go and close it. We need to go and read through the EULA to so double click this. What you need to do is go and copy and paste this into a web browser, highlight it and read it. This is an agreement. If you decide you agree to it, I already have read it and I do, you can change the EULA to true. Then press file it in the top left and you want to go and press save like so. And we can then close it. Then what you can do is go and double click on run.bat again and it's going to keep on generating the files and everything that it needs. So go and be patient. If we come across here, we can see the spawn area has now been complete. And what we can do is actually go and close down the server for now like so, because now what we need to do is go and add in the mods. So go and find the mods folder. And then what we need to do is we need to come back to our downloads. And we can then go and drag in the mods. We had waystones here and then we had balm. Now what's super key is that anybody who joins your server needs to have these mods. That's why we went and installed them onto our server. So make sure you link them to people and tell them the version they need to be running. Then what we can do is we can go and close out of here and we need to go and open up the NeoForge server folder again. And what you can do is go and find run.bat and we can then go and double click it. And then what we can do is we can come into multiplayer, press proceed here. And then what you can do is go and press add server. Because this is our own server, what we can do is go and type in local host. Then you can press done and you can go and select it. Then you can go and press join server and you can go and see we've now successfully joined it. If we pause the game and press mods, we can see the mods are here. You may be wondering how can people now go and join this? Well, for them to join it, they'll either need to go and port forward or there's another software we can use. I've made a video on and it's a platform essentially. But with port forwarding, you do have to go and share your IP address, as I said earlier, but that is a way to do it. Otherwise, you can go and use Apex, who are a great alternative. And thanks to them for sponsoring this video.